Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Paranormal News. On tonight's episode, we're going to be doing one for all the people that love ancient Egypt and mummies and all that kind of stuff. This one comes from discovermagazine.com and the title is King Tut's Body Spontaneously Combusted Inside Coffin. And it's by Lisa Raffensperger and it was published on November 4th, 2013. And right here's a picture of a replica of the mangled and burned mummy of King Tut. It's not the actual one, it's just a replica. King Tut, that most famous of mummies, may yet have some secrets to spill. Researchers have reanalyzed the teenage king's remains and determined that his broken bones indicate he died after being hit by a chariot, and that adding insult to injury, his mummification was botched leading his corpse to spontaneously combust inside its sarcophagus. The chariot crash evidence came from a virtual autopsy of the body using x-ray and CAT scans. To reconstruct the accident, lead researcher Chris Naunton, director of the Egypt Exploration Society in the UK, enlisted the help of car crash investigators, reports the Daily Mail. Dr. Naunton used the latest technology to reconstruct the death of the pharaoh and now believes a high-speed chariot crash was the cause of his death. He said, quote, We believe there is now a very distinct possibility that he was struck by a chariot wheel in the torso at high speed, enough to do him very serious damage. In fact, that's what killed him, end quote. Not only did a skeleton have broken ribs on its left-hand side, but it was lacking a sternum or breastbone and heart. King Tut's charred remains. The other revelation that Tut caught fire after death came from a piece of flesh that an anthropologist apparently just had sitting around his office. It had been known since the 1960s that King Tut's body had been burned, according to Raw Story, but the cause remained unclear. The new study included other chemical tests on the fragment of flesh and the results were analyzed by fire investigators. They concluded that a shoddy mummification was to blame, maybe because embalmers were rushed or because the pharaoh's body was so mangled. The combination of oxygen, embalming oils, and linen in the sarcophagus essentially caused the mummy to spontaneously combust. Cause of death. Previous theories for how the boy king had died were many and varied according to the telegraph. Although there has been speculation that Tut was assassinated or killed in conflict, many experts believe his death was the result of an accident or illness. A CAT scan taken in 2005 shows that he had suffered a leg fracture shortly before he died, and that the leg had become infected. DNA analysis conducted in 2010 showed the presence of malaria in his system. The findings part of a Channel 4 documentary airing Sunday, November 10th in the UK, may help put King Tut's story to rest. But then, as centuries-old history of grave robbing attest, no mummy can lie undisturbed for long. And that is the end of the article. So this is really, really interesting because it's some new evidence on the cause of death of King Tut, which I'm sure that the majority of you, just like me, were fascinated by King Tut. I mean, here you had a pharaoh of Egypt that was a boy king. He was he was a young person. He was not a full-grown adult. And according to the condition of his body, he did not have a very good time. Now, it's saying here DNA analysis in 2010 showed he had malaria in his system. And that in 2005, they did a CAT scan that showed he had a leg fracture that ended up becoming infected shortly before he died. And now they're saying that he was in a bad chariot crash and got ran over essentially by a chariot. So he did not have a very good last few days. I think the full story of King Tut's death has yet to be told. I think there's a lot more to that than what we know so far. I don't know if we'll ever get the full story. It may be one of those things that's just kind of lost to history. But needless to say, if nothing else, he was a very unlucky pharaoh because he had a lot of really bad things happen to him. Let me know down in the comments what you think of the new evidence that they have presented here, what you think about his cause of death, what killed him. Do you think that it was him dying from the infection in his leg? 
Do you think that maybe the malaria is what killed him in combination with the infection? Or do you believe this new evidence that he got run over by a chariot? Or was it some combination of all of them? Was he weak from the infection in his leg and the malaria that was in his system? Maybe he fell out of the chariot. Maybe his own chariot ran him over. That'd be an interesting little twist to this. Maybe he's just cruising along in his chariot and he's so weak he loses consciousness and falls out and gets run over by his own chariot and killed. Kind of interesting. I don't think that necessarily it was a rush job of mummification that was to blame. I think the fact that he was so mangled is the problem. Because it's not like a normal body. If it's all mangled up and crushed up, you can't really get the bandages to fit as tightly because it's not a normal body shape. It's all twisted and messed up. So there was probably some gaps that let oxygen in, and that probably is what caused them to spontaneously combust. This is a very, very interesting article and, and just an interesting idea that a body could just burst into flames like that because it wasn't perfectly whole when it was mummified. That's fascinating to me. I had no idea that that could happen. And I never even really considered that it could happen. You always hear of mummification. You know that they kind of took the brain out through the nose and, and got rid of all the internal organs and all that kind of stuff. And they stuffed spices and stuff up in the body. And then they wrapped it in the linen and it preserved it. But I never really considered what would happen if the body was all mangled up. I always thought if that was the case, it would just be a, a dented up mummy. I never thought of the idea that, that air could get in there and, and interact with those chemicals and cause it to burst into flames like that. Very, very cool. So let me know what you think of this story. Let me know what you think of the cause of death down in the comments. Uh, if you enjoyed this article, please hit the like button and please subscribe to the channel if you have not already. And thank you, as always, for all the support that you show us. We greatly, greatly appreciate you. And until I speak to you again, love many, trust few, and do harm to none. God loves you, and so do I. Bye-bye.